when the narcissist sends their monkeys after you. When the narcissist enforces their flying monkeys. When they get their useful idiots to act on their behalf. You will often find that the narcissist you're dealing with is part of a group of people. They all think the same. They're all very invalidating. They all try to control you. They share the same habitual gestures and ways of speaking and behaving. They think and make decisions as a group, which typically results in unchallenged, poor quality decision making. They conform to the group because they feel weak on their own. They need that sense of belonging. They need to feel like they are an accepted member of the group. They all think the same way. They all share the same ideas. And they don't care about other people who think differently. The support of their group gives them the ability to show a confident and forceful personality. They can be very opinionated and have fixed views or preconceived ideas. When if they were alone, they probably wouldn't be so confident or forceful. they would probably feel anxious and uncertain about themselves. Which is why they need the support of the group. They can be very defensive towards anyone who has different or opposing views. They can be very anxious to challenge or avoid criticism, to defend or protect their group. may not realize it at first, but you will soon discover that there are a lot of unspoken rules and regulations. Everything has to be done a certain way. They have these fixed views and preconceived ideas that they expect you to abide by without ever questioning or confronting them. You're not allowed to have your own preferences or ideas. You have to stay within the box that they have created for you. They can be unpleasantly overpowering towards those who they perceive to be different to what they are. They will try to assert their will over you in an arrogant way. They will bully, intimidate and pressure you into seeing things in the way that they do. There's no compromise. It's either their way or the highway. They have to be in the superior position. And they can often have great influence on people because they can come across as someone who has an overly high opinion of themselves. They can come across as someone who is confident. But underneath that is someone who doesn't really believe in themselves at all. Flying monkeys depend on each other for validation. Even though they tend to lack knowledge and experience. They just see it as though whatever they think must be right. Regardless of the facts or statistics. They see their feelings as facts. And they will expect you to see it the same way.
the main narcissist is usually the one who sends the flying monkeys after you. You will hear more about what they're against rather than what they're actually for. They can be very negative. They can behave in a way that is not desirable or optimistic. They focus on the absence rather than the presence of distinguishing features. They have a dualistic mentality. In their minds, you're either with them or you're against them. You're either right or wrong. You're either part of their group or you're not one of them. They have this all or nothing way of thinking. There's nothing in between. They try to treat complex issues and problems as if they were much simpler than they really are. When life just isn't that simple, there's always going to be subtle differences in meaning or expression. There's always going to be a difference or contrast between similar things or people. But with the narcissist flying monkeys, everyone has to think the same. Everyone has to have the same ideas and preferences. And there's just no room for individuality. There's no room for the quality or character of a particular person that distinguishes them from the rest of the group. Because they try to prevent any individuality. They try to prevent any free thought where people can form their opinions on the basis of reason independently of authority. They just see it as though you don't need to have your own separate thoughts. You don't need to use analysis or logical reasoning. You don't need to think for yourself. You just need to do what they tell you to do as though they've already got all the answers. Everyone has to conform to their way of thinking. Everyone has to comply with their rules and regulations. You have to agree with them. They want everyone to think in the same way. They want everyone to have the same way of doing things. They give authoritative commands. As though you've got to do what they say without question. You have to follow their commands. And once you show any form of individuality, they will see you as an outsider. You will be ostracized. You will become an outcast. Someone who is rejected and cast out from home or society. You will be excluded, looked down upon or ignored. Because you don't fit into their group. You have your own separate way of thinking. You're not willing to submit to authority. And free thinkers cannot exist in harmony with narcissists or their flying monkeys. Because you think freely and independently. Narcissists don't want your freedom. They want conformity. They want you to comply with their rules and regulations. They don't want you to form opinions on the basis of reason, independently of authority. If you do, they will reject you. They will exclude you from their group because they feel like you have rejected them. They feel like you have rejected their dogma. They feel like you have rejected their teachings or beliefs. Which can cause them to become very distrustful of you. Because in their minds you have failed to observe or respect their rules. They hate it when you have a different preference or idea. They just see it as though you're deliberately trying to make their lives difficult. 
They see it as though you being different makes you crazy or evil. And it makes them doubt your reliability. They see it as though you have brought dishonor upon their group. The flying monkeys can also be distrustful of each other. They can feel like not everyone really follows the teachings or beliefs of the group. They can often be pressured to prove their loyalty to the group. where well, they have to go out and commit an act against you. For the purpose of proving their loyalty to the group. As though they have to stand up for what they believe in. They have to show you what they're representing. And everyone in the group disagrees with it. They all think it's okay. Because they don't have their own individuality. There's no differences or contrast between them. There's nothing that sets them apart. But they don't see anything wrong with that. Because in their minds they're perfect. They regard themselves as being better than they actually are. They exaggerate their positives and minimize their negatives. Everything is based on their own personal feelings, tastes or opinions. Rather than being free from prejudice and favoritism, everything they do is self-serving. It's an indulgence and satisfaction of their own desires. It revolves around them explaining things about themselves, things that they like or are interested in, things that they prefer. And they expect you to see it as though their biased opinions are all that matters. They don't want you to question their authority. They don't want you to think for yourself. Because any time that you have your own separate opinion, it makes them feel like they're losing control of you. They're very insecure. So having a different opinion will make them very angry. They will feel like you're attacking them. And you will often experience conflict from them. You will experience a struggle between conflicting ideas while well, they are trying to force their preferences onto you. When you are dealing with the narcissist and the flying monkeys, you need to accept that they're never going to be able to relate to you. They're never going to be able to understand you. Because the strength of the group is too overpowering for anyone to have their own separate opinions. They're not going to respect your differences or individuality. They're just going to see it as though there's something wrong with you. They feel like you have rejected their teachings and beliefs. So now they're going to reject you. They're going to do whatever it takes to make you feel the way they felt when you rejected them. And many people feel hurt when they do this. Which is understandable, because no one wants to feel rejected. We all want to feel accepted by the tribe. It's meant to improve our chances of survival. But you need to recognize that this isn't a group that you should want to be a part of anyway. Because by being a part of a group like that, you would only lose your individuality. You'd only lose everything that is special about you. And you would just be another one of them.
You need to learn to live your life separate from their group. By realizing just how great you are on your own. The reason why these people tend to gravitate towards the group is because they don't value their individuality. They don't value or love themselves. They see it as though being a part of the group means that they're worth something. They don't feel like they're enough on their own. And that is why they were willing to erase themselves to be a part of the group. When you're dealing with the narcissist fly monkeys, you need to realize that you're not even dealing with real whole and complete people. You're just dealing with people who are only a shell of what they used to be. They lost themselves when they chose to conform to the group. And that is why they need so many of them. Because the power is in your individuality. Your power comes from being yourself. And when these people chose to sacrifice themselves for the sake of the group, they lost their power. Which is why you shouldn't even take their opinion seriously. You shouldn't even care what they think. Because they're just repeating what was fair to them. They don't even have their own independent thoughts and opinions. Because they're just a shell of who they used to be. They don't even exist. Because their group does not honor or respect any individuality. It expects everyone to conform to their way of thinking and doing things. But you can realize that you are enough on your own. You can respect your individuality by walking away and living your own life separate from them. With your own thoughts and opinions. With your own ideas and preferences. Which is all you wanted to have anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.